tutorial 37 in Inventor for Beginners. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the text. It comes after the chamfer. And the polygon tool is already discussed before. And it's quite easy to use. Here you choose the number of sides, either to start from an edge or middle point. So it's quite is to use and here we have the sketch from previous tutorials showing the different types of fillet and chamfer let's go to the next tool the text it has two types the simple or free text and the geometry text which follow some kind of geometries so let's start with the text first and click where you want to add your text and this format text will appear to you to write the things you want and here the controlling for the text they are the same idea if you are working the word so they are nothing special here here you can change the size select the text change the size and here you can select the type of the text and so on so you notice now your text here to re-edit your text just deactivate the text here by clicking escape and click on your double click on your sketch so you'll be able again to change your text so you can write here a bigger size let's type 12 okay now you are able to see your text edited and bigger so the reason why it is all the lines are under because we just make a click and we did make a selection area so to re-edit that you can select the text area as you notice here and drag it to make the texting area bigger so you are able to see them in one line for making them smaller to be under each other this is mostly like work word work so now let's go to the other type also this is another thing you can do you can move it where you want and the second type is the geometry text where you find a reference for your text so let's select this line and here you can write the text we want okay you can see it here small let's change it to be 40 and here also you can do the word work or or reverse the direction make sure that you selected the text before changing its size 50 40s Let's try 20, maybe two. So now, one. Also, you can make a text on a circular arc 
spline and so on. Let's try this spline on that arc. Change size. Okay. Now you have your text on that arc. And change here. So this is an idea how to use a different type of texting.